Questions and Answers, Volume 2. Ryan here for Silly Reviews. I'm answering questions by some of my viewers, my subscribers. Uh, these guys always come through for me. They've been hanging in there. So I've been trying to get interactive and uh, get some questions in. And I enjoy it. I enjoyed the first one. I hope we enjoy the second one. Let's jump right to it. What we have going on. We have some question. We have a question from Jeff Corrett. We also have a question by Jeff Corrett from somebody he knows who he games with. Um, this guy Towers. I games with them a few times. Cool guy. Uh, we've got EDP's number one fans got a bunch of questions, and then of course David Kistner. He's got a bunch of questions. I haven't proofread these questions. I do know what Jeff's question is, and I pulled up some uh, some photos to go along with this question. I'm going to try to bounce around on these questions, keep everybody interested. And uh, I, I did see just kind of over looking at it or whatever, some doozies in here, but I'm not afraid to answer them. I'll answer them as honestly as I possibly can. Uh, the drink for tonight, I bought this about an hour ago just to be funny. I didn't realize that Hurricane High Gravity Category 5 beer, it's an 8.1% alcohol by volume beer. I did not realize how disgusting this is. If I would have seen malt liquor on it, I guess I would have had an idea, but I'm going to drink it. Oh my God, I feel backed up child support payments happening with every sip. So anyway, here we go. Here we go. Let's get it started. Jeff Corrett asks, favorite adult actor or actress? It's funny. He says actor. Of course, I make the funny uh, raps and, and prank calls and reviews that have a touch of homosexuality to them but i don't have a favorite adult actor uh i and david kistner would like to think that i have a he she favorite actor actress but i do have a favorite actress and the way i, I figured out this answer was what have what has been my go-to what has been my go-to for a long time and i would say i have a go-to video that i've been going to probably since the mid-2000s I'm going to share that with you, but let's make sure this is recording. It is. Okay. So I got some screenshots, some photos, some safe for work photos. So hopefully this video doesn't get demonetized. Her name is Melly Swan. <clears throat> Melly Swan. Okay. This was in the mid 2000s. She had some solo videos, a girl on girl here and there. And uh, she had one semi um, boy on girl video, which was a hand job tease video. So if you put Melly Swan together with the, those words I just said, you'll be able to find her. But these are some safer work screenshots of it. This is the one where I just keep going to the well, man. Uh, it is what it is. So that's that answer. Let's jump on over to EDP. I'm going to hit up a few of these, then I'm going to jump to David, come back. Let's keep everybody interested, then I'll come back and hit um, Towers question. So... What's your funniest drunk memory? Man, my drunk memories aren't funny, man. If, if, if I can even remember them. A lot of them are just poor decision making. Something funny when I was drunk. I've had some good freestyle rap flows and, and imitations of people out in public. My friends egg me on to do uh, when I've been drunk. And those have been funny moments. But usually getting drunk is not a, not a good thing for me. Speaking of malt liquor have you ever been in a fist fight uh, I've been in a few not a bunch and that's not something I like to talk about or brag about much but I'll answer your question um, I try to avoid fighting at all costs when I was coming up in grade school I was the only white kid it is what it is okay I was the only white kid in the New Orleans uh, elementary school and uh, it it was weird, man. This was in the early 90s up until 1990 when I moved from fifth grade to middle school and it was a whole different environment. But, uh, man, the, these kids used to write out fight tickets for lunchtime. And uh, I was always on the ticket, man. And, and I'd have to get in fights. I, I won some and I lost some. And I, I won a couple to where it got them, those guys to, I guess, give me respect or however those, you know, that culture, you know, treats people. To where you know they stopped messing with me probably towards the second half of the school year but um moving on from there middle school a little dude in a new city 
and the Hispanic kids used to pick on me, and I was I was pretty small dude because I was so young. When I started um, when I started sixth grade, I was still ten years old, ten turning eleven in November. So tough going, man. Had a lot of stuff stolen from me. Got punched in the back of the head when I was at my locker a few times. Uh, but those things changed as I got bigger. I started growing. And by the time I was in 8th grade, uh, I started sticking up for myself and, and the guys around me who were scared. And uh, I pretty much got those guys to leave me alone. And I was pretty big come 8th grade. So, let's see. Moving on to adulthood. Some drunken fights. Been in jail for that. Uh, when the Saints won the Super Bowl, I decided to take on three guys who were blocking the bathroom and thought it was funny. And, and I was lit up. And there were some other reasons that went behind me deciding to just go for it. But I uh, took on these three dudes. It was a mess. I didn't get messed up. They left. I stayed. Police came. I got arrested. Um, I got in a fight with an acquaintance. Um, it was a high school friend's older brother who became part of my mid 20s uh, crew who, who was a total fucking asshole. And we evacuated for a hurricane. And we all had the hobby. The one thing we all had in common was just getting totally lit up drunk. <clears throat> and uh, he and I went at it. Very late, very drunk. And he got the best of me big time. I got messed up bad. Uh, ended up driving to my mom's house, which was in Alabama. And uh, basically recovering over there, man, because uh, he, he let me have it. So that was a bad one. Um, I don't know, man. That there's not a whole lot of fight stories beyond that because I just I don't think fighting is is, is a good thing at any age, really. Um, walk away, you know, walk away. So I told you the whole effing story. So let's move on to if you could have dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? It'd probably be somebody alive. Um. Probably, who would it be, man? Somebody like Sylvester Stallone, man. It's somebody who I've just enjoyed all of his movies and his, and his roles growing up, and he was kind of an idol. He's getting up there in age. Uh, I just, I'd ask him what life was like and what does he want to eat, and I'll eat the same thing. That's that's the first guy that comes up top of my head. You have any pets? I don't have any pets. Um. I just, I don't feel, even though I'm home a lot, especially right now because I'm in between jobs, careers, or whatever, but um, when everything comes back together, I'd like to have another dog. Uh, I've had a couple, two dogs in my adult life, and they were really awesome, but I just don't feel like I would have the time to give them attention, especially if I, once I get back to work, um, being tied down, and if I get back to dating and stuff, um, you know, having to come back home with the powder. It's just not something that's going to work for me right now. What do you do for a living? It's a really difficult question, man. Um, the majority of my life I've worked for home marketing and marketing is, is, is a very broad term for what I've done. Uh, let's see, I'm 37. So over the past 16 or so years, um, that's a tough one to answer, man. I just do what it takes to get by right now. Advice on weight loss. I, I have good advice, but I don't follow it. Uh, don't drink a lot. Empty calories. And, and that's one of my big things that mess me over uh, with trying to get lean or stay lean or whatever is, is alcohol, man. It's not good. It's bad. Get you fat. Get you fat. Um, advice on weight loss is calories in, calories out. It, it's very simple. Just It doesn't matter if you eat hot dogs which I love, or, or Big Macs or whatever. Eat less food than what you're going to burn off, and the weight's going to come down. Get out there and walk. Any kind, of, any kind of exercise, it really does make you feel good. And if you can just get started on day one, day two, day three, it builds up, and you get that momentum. And don't let any, anything or anybody break that momentum because your, your, your mental health and the way you feel about yourself is most important. Any advice for a broke dude in his last year of college worried about finding a job after? Um, I hope you didn't get yourself in a whole lot of debt uh, going to college. 
if you did learn to live off of beans and rice, stay within your means, don't get yourself any, any deeper underwater than you already are, and just hustle. No matter if you have to work two jobs and keep putting out those applications until you get the job that you need that pays you what you want and, and is fulfilling in your life, you have to grind. And it might mean that you don't get to date like you want to or you don't get to show off uh, certain things that maybe some of your, your friends or acquaintances do. But don't dig yourself any deeper into a hole, man. If I could go back, if I could go back. Uh, I'll hit up one more of these, then we're going to jump to David. Advice on living broke and learning to manage money. I've never learned to manage money. Never. I always think I have a good plan when I start making money again. And then I just have this ghetto rich mentality where I feel like I just need to buy things. And uh, it's ridiculous. So the best advice I could give you, and I wish I could stick to it myself, would be don't live beyond your means. Don't buy things just to make yourself happy. Um, write down a budget, which includes savings, and save whatever you can, even if it's a dollar a week. Save it. Don't touch it. Rainy days are going to happen to all of us. Rainy days are going to happen. Uh, buying a vehicle, man. If you can walk, if you can bicycle, then don't get yourself over your head um, by using whatever credit you may have to finance a vehicle when you can't afford it. And especially when you can't afford the repairs that come and the maintenance that comes with having a vehicle. A vehicle will screw people over. I have experience in the, in the car industry and in, in managing a car lot, selling cars. And I see it all too often. I've done it to myself, man. Don't, don't get a car you can't afford because whether that sticker price on a used car is $2,000 or $10,000 or $20,000, maintenance and upkeep and insurance, all these things are going to come with that. And you'll get over your head and you're going to hate the car. You're going to hate it. So let me skip on over to David Kistner's first. <laughs> David Kistner's first 18 questions, okay? I'm going to try to bang these out. Stay with me. Here we go. Malt liquor. Terrible. If you could meet Johnny Cash, Bob Marley, or Tom Petty and sit down with them for a few hours, who would you pick and what would you want to do together? Um, I would have liked to get, get with Johnny Cash and just talk to him, man. Man in black. Um... He seems like he's had a, a, an interesting and difficult and tough life. And I, I don't know all the details. I didn't follow him too, too closely. But from what I do know, I want to know how he lived that long, to be honest. Question two, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? And would you use it for good or evil? Um, I would be invisible. I'd probably use it for both good and evil. I'd probably get some hands on my money some Robin Hood type stuff help myself and then help help the poor I guess question three if you had to lose both your feet or both your hands which would you choose and why I'd, I'd have to lose my feet before my hands man I, I, I need I need these gotta have these man I, I think it'd be easier to lose your feet anybody who's watching this who's lost their feet and thinks otherwise my bad Ugh. What's your favorite end of the world apocalyptic scenario to live in? Uh, I.e. zombies, tsunami, flooding. Uh, some caveats here. Plague. Favorite? None of those sound like a favorite. I like zombie movies and zombie video games, but I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to live in that. That's too scary. Tsunami or flooding? But I can live in a houseboat. Well, that kind of answers it. That sounds like the best way to do it. Hopefully I'd be with somebody because I don't know how to fish or or do anything that uh, an outdoorsman should know how to do. Question five. I'm asking again because I don't accept the first answer you gave, but deserted island, one year, alone, three separate, separate items. Man, I, how can I put that any differently then? A lighter. Can I have a lighter? I know you need a lighter. I watch Survivor. Got to have a lighter, fire. They, it's a big deal, right? Um, flashlight. Still, I need to have the flashlight. Third thing, I don't think you like the fact that I said I'd bring a bunch of Chef Boy RD. If I can't have Chef Boy RD, um, 
give me give me a portable media player, an iPhone or something that has an, a, a super good battery or so solar power charging battery or something that um, I can just keep watching The Office in Seinfeld over and over again to keep me entertained. If you don't accept that one, Volume 3, come back with it again. I'll try again. Who's the worst human being in your opinion? O.J. Simpson or Casey Anthony? Now, both are pretty much guilty. We all know that. But Casey Anthony had less evidence on her than O.J., so smaller chance that she actually did the crime. So playing devil's advocate, there's a bigger chance that she is actually innocent. Let the record state, I believe both these fuckers are guilty. I believe they're both guilty as well. Who's the worst human being? If they're both guilty, I guess you have to say Casey Anthony. Or society would tell me to say Casey Anthony. Um, because it's, it, it's a child. Um, but really, it's a toss-up, man. Because O.J. Simpson... Uh, I don't know. He tried to get back in the limelight and, and got in trouble again. And he, he didn't... He didn't do anything to for redemption afterwards. At least Casey Anthony, from what I know with her, she just at least she stays out of the limelight. Is that a point? I don't know. A bonus point? Who knows? Question seven. If you could travel back in time to any single moment of your life, what would it, I guess, when would it be and the reason? Well, I wish you had a caveat on there or, or explained if I could stay there. If I could go back and I couldn't stay there, I would probably go back to this moment where I was banging this chick who was off the chain. And there's been a few like that, I guess. But this one was when I was already in my zone. And I was, I'll say, around 30 years old. And I knew what to do. And I knew what I was doing and what I wanted. That was good times. Now, that's saying I can only experience that and come back. If I could go and stay... Man, bring me all the way back to like 6th grade when I was like 10 or 11 years old. And hopefully I'm going back there with some knowledge or some experience that I'm carrying with me from the time warp. And uh, I could use that to, to change a lot of things. Question 8. If you could travel to any single time period, what would or when would it be? I.e. Mesozoic, Mesozoic era, Dark Ages, Roaring Twenties, and Reason. I think it would be okay. I think it would be good if I could go back to like the late 70s but be like a, a, a tween, 10, 11, 12 years old, right when technology is about to, or at least like home personal technology would make be making these huge advances. Um, I would be so on that. And I would be so on, you know, the dot-com boom and just buying up those domains like real estate and flipping them and making money. So that's when I'm going to go back. Um, question nine, who? Okay, well, you had another question that said why. Question nine, who? Why not me? Why not me? I do it for me because if I do it for me, that's going to bring good things to the people around me that I care about, family, friends, things like that. So the who is me. Question 10. Would you kiss the, David, would you kiss the tip of Bailey J's penis knowing one, <laughs> oh my God, knowing 100% she is disease free. And no harm would come to you whatsoever for $100,000 cash. Remember, <laughs> you are only gay if you're gay. Now, he says, I could kiss a man for 500 bucks and still not be sexu sexually attracted to men. You'd only be doing it for the money, Ryan. Stop getting all defensive, Ryan. Jesus, Ryan. So, kissing a, a disease-free tranny dick and it wouldn't make me gay. Would it make me gay in the eyes of others? I really don't care anyway. For $100,000? Question 11. What do you think happens after death? Heaven, hell, blackness, traveling through the universe, seeing all the wonders, reincarnation. I think when you die, you die. I think, 
I think when you're dead, it's over. It's over. Your your life, I think, is a gift. You know, to be brought as a, a conscious human. But you get that little bit of time, and that's it, man. It's over. That's what I think. Um, it's not blackness because I think for it to be blackness, you would be aware of the blackness. It's just over. You just shut off and it's over. It's not over for everybody around you who's still around, who cares about you, who might miss you, stuff like that. But once it's over, it's over. So do with it what you want. Just don't impede on others. I've said that before. Question 12. Would you at least cup my... Lo- <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this, man. I'm sorry. Lao? I know it's Lao. So Laotian? wife's tiny tips with your big man hands if I paid you, I don't know, $30? I'm not rich, Ryan. I'm just trying to turn my fantasy into reality, bruh. Help a- out. Um, I don't know. Can you cup something that small? I mean, if I've got the end of this marker, I can't really cup it, right? So I don't know. Do you just want me to touch him? see if she likes it yeah i would um as far as uh big man hands man my hands aren't that big i don't know what i could give you for scale they're really not that big man that's one thing i think about they're i don't know don't have those those. anyway what deodorant do you use arid aerosol okay i wish i could hop up from this and grab it but arid aerosol i think you get your money's worth it's convenient uh, when I was little and I used to use aerosol antiperspirant deodorant, I don't know if it clog up the pores, but I would get a boil every now and then. But but now that I'm old, man, it, that doesn't happen. So uh, big can, costs like a few dollars, maybe four dollars, something like that at Walmart. Aerosol, arid, antiperspirant deodorant. Shampoo do you use? Uh, I use, I, I usually buy whatever says like thickening. And I've been buying thickening hair shampoo since like early 20s because I'm always paranoid that my hair is going to fall out. Um, what toothpaste do you use? I just grab toothpaste, man. I don't know. Usually like a whitening something, Colgate. Uh, I don't know. It's whatever. Whatever when I realize I'm out of it and I'm at the store and I grab some. Which do you prefer, hot dogs or hamburgers? Well, damn it, David, that makes me think that you haven't been watching my videos. Man, hot dogs, dude. I'm all about a hot dog. What condiments or toppings? Hot dogs actually are a joke. Uh, I'd prefer a hamburger. Just come and clean on that. Condiments and toppings, man. Uh, everything. Everything but mushrooms, man. I fucking hate a mushroom. Hate a mushroom. They're slimy. They're gross. I don't like it. Uh, question 17, you said your dream car was a Toyota Tundra, but what about a dream fast car? Like a McLaren, Audi, Ferrari, etc. Okay, so sports car, supercar. I've never really been in anything that's super fast, man. I, I don't. Besides having like a Lamborghini on my Trapper Keeper back in grade school, man. I don't. There, there. You brought up Audi. There are some Audis that I think just look amazing. I don't know if they're fast. I guess they are, but it'd be one of those Audi, like the upper echelon ones. But I know, just like my Volkswagen, they have uh, terrible reputations for for draining your wallet on uh, maintenance and repairs. Question eighteen: Favorite movie actor or actress, alive or dead? And then, uh, favorite movie he or she has played in. Give me, give me Tom Hanks, man. There's there's a couple guys who are close, but give me Tom Hanks, man. I watch damn near anything that Tom Hanks is in. Favorites? Well, you only put favorite, man. It's hard to pick one. A big, big was a big deal for me. And then, but I don't watch big that much. Save it, Private Ryan. I probably watch more. So. Sorry to, to tote the fence, but I'm going to say both of those. Okay, let's bounce back to some of EDP's questions. Here we are. Do, 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 do. Okay, where do we leave off? You good with cars? Man, I'm a lot better. 
I think you're talking about like maintenance, knowing how to repair cars, guy stuff like that. I'm so much better with cars in the past six years. It went from like, I, I don't really, I'm not confident that I know how to change brakes, oil, things like that, to like when I hit 30, 31, and I uh, got in business with my dad. And then after that, I was in the, the used car industry. Just, phew, it went up. So I'm good with cars and not like some of my friends. Man, I've got a friend, Steven, who's like, mad good with cars and handy actually a lot of my friends are and i'm not just not that dude but i'm I'm good with computers am i good with cars better than a here's a chick a female better than a female but like not like real man status do you believe in god like i've said before i don't care what you believe in as long as you don't step on anyone else's toes or get in their way personally i don't um but I do believe I have morals and a compass and, you know, I firmly believe in just not, not hurting anybody or getting in their way, doing mean things, um, you know. But if you believe in God or anybody else is watching this that, that does, you know, that's awesome, man. As long as it's for something good. As long as you're not using that as a crutch. And as long as you don't use that to say, like, when something really bad happens and, and oh, it was, it's God's plan, that's something that like I twitch a little bit that doesn't make sense but anyway I don't care what you believe in as long as you try to do good crazy ex-girlfriend stories brother too many to mention and I probably have too many crazy ex-boyfriend stories to mention favorite fast food chain man not lately and I shouldn't be going to any of them if I ever want to get back in shape but uh, Taco Bell for a long time. But it also depended on where I live, man. Because Taco Bell's, you know, franchise and stuff. It depends on which one you go to and who's working there and who's running it. The Taco Bell here fucking sucks. But Taco Bell, just... It's all about... It's it's cheese, beef, beans, and, and tortillas, man. No matter how you... How many items they come up with on the menu. Uh, Taco Bell. Favorite... Favorite Taco Bell item. Nacho anything, man. The biggest nachos they have. Give me some steak, some chicken. I'll, I'll go beef if I can't afford the upgrade. But anything there that's nachos. Let's see. Any shows you've been watching recently? I watch the same old shit over and over and over again. The past few days and nights, I've been watching um, Breaking Bad. I'm going back through Breaking Bad. Got like a season and a half left. Can you make Q&As a regular thing? Yes, sir. I definitely will. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Take care, Ryan. I love doing these. I love that you love doing them, and I appreciate you. And the very final one is going to be Jeff asking for the guy Towers. Uh, Towers asks, how many times have you used that pocket vagina? Well, that pocket vagina that I, I leave inconspicuously or conspicuously in my videos. I uh, bought that for super cheap on Amazon just for show. That is not the brand name Fleshlight, which I have experience with um, because I've, I've marketed for, for Fleshlight before. Um, I don't think, I don't think I've ever stuck my dick in the one that I've shown in videos because I have, I actually have a Fleshlight, a couple of them that were given to me uh, for free by the company for sales that I had made. So that's that answer. Anyway, Q&A Volume 2 is over with. I'm Ryan for Silly Reviews. Thank you so much to everybody who watches my videos and comments and, and thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You helped me keep this going, and, and it's going on 13 years. And I'm going to keep on pushing until something big happens. Um, and you guys will definitely be responsible for, for that. So let's go ahead and stop recording, and I'm going to upload this. Ryan for Silly Reviews.